The story of Avatar is still not over, but in spite of this we have more than 10,000 years of events that concluded in a world as we saw it in the end of Avatar The Legend of Korra. In this video I will summarize everything we know that happened, year by year, so that once and for all you know the complete history of the world of Avatar. This is Appa Comics. Before the time of the Avatar, the spirits Rava of Light and Peace and Vatu of Chaos and Darkness began a war for the fate of the planet. The humans appreciated having to dwell on lion turtles to avoid the attacks of the different wild spirits with whom they shared territory. Humans were divided into different lion turtles, who had the ability to give and take away control of an element. At the same time the spirits of the moon and the ocean assumed a mortal form as koi fish. One, a young man, is expelled from his settlement for not returning his firepower, befriending the spirits of the forest and using his ability in a way that had never been done before. This would be the beginning of what would later be known as bending. At this time he created the dragon dancer technique. Other humans are inspired by Juan to leave their home, which causes many casualties and a constant struggle between spirits and people. The young man finds Rava and Vata fighting so he tries to separate them, but this causes the spirit of light to weaken. The harmonic convergence was approaching, an event in which both would fight to reign for the next 10,000 years, but with Rava weakened, one travels the world to obtain the four elements and stop Vatu. In their fight, both fuse together, defeating Chaos and forming the first avatar, the only person capable of mastering the four elements. One closes the portals that connect the spiritual world with the physical world, so that everyone lives in peace and the avatar is the bridge between both worlds. The humans abandon their lion's turtles and the four nations are created, the water tribes, the earth kingdom, the fire nation and the air nomads. After Juan's death, the spirit Rava is reincarnated in another human. After this mankind would divide and learn the ability to bend an element. The air nomads learned air bending from the flying bison, the fire nation learned fire bending from the dragons, Oma and Shu learned earth bending from the badger moles, and the water tribes learned water bending by observing the movements of the moon over the ocean. Subsequently, this last tribe would separate, concentrating a large group in the North Pole and another in the South Pole. Some southern benders decided to settle in the Earth Kingdom, creating the Swamp Water Tribe, which would be unknown to their sister tribes, and eventually losing the notion of their own origin. The Sun Warriors, who were the original firebenders, faded away, believed to be extinct for many years. Their fire bending passed into the hands of other inhabitants of nearby islands, establishing the Fire Nation, being ruled by the Fire Sages. Eventually an outstanding of the latter was crowned as Fire Lord, a title that would be hereditary for the rest of the years. In the Earth Kingdom, the population began to unite under the political authority of the city of Ba Zing Se. The king of this city would end up becoming the king of all the other small provinces of the Earth Kingdom. Speaking of Earth Kingdom royalty, during this unknown period of time, the Avatar faced a corrupted king who through the energy of chaos wanted to dominate the world. After the battle, his Siamese twin brother was wounded, so he fled to the spirit world. This king was Hundam. During this time most of Wan's reincarnations are unknown, except for a few names or mentions at some point. One that we know of who stood out strongly in his task as Avatar was Sito. In his era, the Fire Nation was in crisis. Natural disasters and plagues destroyed livelihoods and the noble clans were in conflict. Seeing this situation Sito became a government minister, improving his nation through politics and diplomacy. He was appointed great advisor to the Fire Lord Yoser and negotiated peace among all clans, turning the Fire Nation into an emerging world power but neglecting the other nations. For 95 BG after her death, Yangchen would be reincarnated as Rava, an air nomad of the Western Air Temple. In his life she faced the old Iron General, a spirit that tormented the people in search of revenge because they had been responsible for the death of Lady Tianhai. 
Young Chin reached a peace agreement with him by erecting a statue in which a festival would be held, which would later be called the Young Chin Festival. As well as this, the Air Nomad achieved many agreements between humans and spirits, as well as between different peoples so she kept at bay virtually all conflicts between nations, bringing a huge era of peace, which together with her power would make her a kind of deity for many people. Because of this, she neglected the spiritual world, which unleashed great problems to be solved by her next reincarnation, Korok. 345 AG Avatar Korok was seen as a womanizer and irresponsible, but in reality he put all his attention to balancing the spirit world, fighting against powerful dark spirits like Ko the Face Stealer and Father Glowworm. The constant fighting was corrupting Korok, making him the youngest avatar to die in known history. 312 AG A young girl named Kyoshi was born in the Earth Kingdom, who was left in the care of a villager in Yukoya Port at the age of five. The villager would leave her in the street living as an orphan. After several years of searching, Yun, who was unable to bend any element other than Earth, was named as Avatar Korok's successor and Kyoshi began working on the Avatar's mansion, which was being built to house Avatar Yun's trainers. In 296 BG Kyoshi improvises a phrase to the beat of a song, repeating a poem Korok had written years before, raising suspicions as to whether Yun really was the Avatar or they had chosen the wrong person. After a huge show of power by the orphan, Kelsang and Jianju, who were in charge of the search and training of the new avatar, questioned their decision even more. Jianju took the two young men to a remote village, communicating with a dark spirit to tell him which of them was the avatar. This spirit was Father Glowworm, whom Korok had confronted before, saying that Kyoshi was the true avatar. Jian Zhu attacked the spirit and let Jin die by locking him up because he felt he was no longer useful. From this point on Kyoshi fled along with Rangi, a firebender who would become his partner, joining criminal gangs until his confrontation with the earthbender sage. Although she was willing to kill Jian Zhu, the moment they met, she did not. It was Yun, who came out of the cave carrying part of the spirit father glowworm. Finally after his confrontation with the false avatar, Kyoshi lived a long life performing an excellent task as an avatar. Some of its transcendental events were the creation of the Daili, the Kyoshi warriors, the assassination of Chin the Conqueror, as well as the separation of the peninsula from the rest of the continent, thus creating Kyoshi Island. This event would henceforth be commemorated as Avatar Day. The avatar of the Earth Kingdom dies at the age of 230 years. At that time Roku, the next reincarnation of Rabba is born in the Fire Nation, along with his best friend Sozin. In the year 66 BG it is revealed to Roku that he is the avatar, so he embarks on a journey to master the four elements. In 58 BG Sozin ascends to the throne, becoming the Fire Lord and three years later Roku would destroy part of the Fire Temple on Crescent Moon Island trying to control his Avatar state. A year later the Avatar would return to the Fire Nation, marrying Ta Min, and his friend would tell him for the first time of his expansion plans. We should share this prosperity with the rest of the world. In our hands is the most successful empire in history. It's time we expanded it. Meanwhile somewhere in the Earth Kingdom Guru Puthik was being born. It was 13 years before the Avatar discovered the first colony of the Fire Nation, defeating his friend in a battle at the Royal Palace. In the following years he and Roku would lose contact and finally die fighting a volcanic eruption at age 70, giving way to his next reincarnation. Aang The bald air nomad from the Southern Air Temple would meet his friend Bumi around 2 BG, slipping through the Omashu mail system. Also at this time he would play with Kuzan, in the Fire Nation. From this point we come to the 0 AG year. During year 0 AG fearing an approaching war, it is revealed to Aang that he is the Avatar, for years earlier than normal. To begin his training in the other elements, he is sent to the Eastern Air Temple, but frightened by his new destiny, Aang flees, sinking into the sea while fighting a great storm, and using the Avatar state, he freezes himself and his bison Appa, reawakening 100 years later. Sozin begins his attack using the power of the Great Comet, which would be renamed Sozin's Comet, exterminating the Air Nomads. 
Soon after, Prince Azulin was born. In a battle between the Fire Nation and the Northern Water Tribe, the latter would get uniforms that they would try to use later. In 20 AG Sozin dies at the age of 102 and his son Azulin ascends to the throne. Fifteen years later, Iroh was born and became the heir to the crown. In the year 40, Zhang Zhang would be born in the Fire Nation, and the latter would begin its attacks against the Southern Water Tribe, destroying their city and capturing their water masters. Hamat is taken prisoner, leaving the tribe without vendors. Twenty years later, Ozai and Ursa were born. In 75 K was born, the heir to the throne of the Earth Kingdom and four years later the 51st Earth King died. K assumes the position, but being a child, Long Feng is appointed regent of Ba Zingse, and becomes the chief advisor to the Earth King. Long Feng uses his advantage by eliminating K's knowledge of warfare and taking complete control of the capital. Ozai would marry Ursa by her father's command, and a year later Zuko would be born, as well as in that same year, Jet in the Earth Kingdom. In the Northern Water Tribe, Princess Yu was born sick, but is cured by the spirit of the Moon Tue, leaving part of her life in her. The same year Saka is born in her sister tribe and Suki on Kyoshi Island. In the Fire Nation, the daughter of a nobleman comes into the world, Mai. The following year Azula, Katara, and Tai Li and their six identical sisters were born into a noble family of the Fire Nation. Between 87 and 94, Nasiriya Tof Beifang, Iroh would begin his siege of Ba Zingse and the southern raiders would attack the southern water tribe in an attempt to assassinate the last waterbender. Kia sacrifices herself to save Katara, who was eight years old. At the same time, Zhao would visit the Washer Tong Library, discovering the existence of the moon and ocean spirits. Subsequently Iroh would destroy the outer wall of Ba Zingse, and Lu Ten would die, causing the withdrawal of the general and the end of the siege. This same year, Azulin dies under suspicious circumstances and revokes the right of succession to his firstborn Iroh, giving this position to Ozai. Soon after, Ursa disappears and reunites with her ex-boyfriend Iken, they travel to Forgetful Valley where the mother of faces changes her face and erases her memories, while Zuko becomes the heir to the throne of the Fire Nation. In 96, he, Zuko's half-sister, was born and a year later, Zuko was banished until he found the Avatar after an Agni Kai with Ozai. During the year 99, Aang would be awakened from the iceberg by Katara and Sokka. They would accompany him, leaving their tribe, on his journey to learn about the other elements. Here would be all the events of the first part of book one of the animated series, including his passage through the Air Temple, Kyoshi Island, the reunion with Bomi, the release of the prisoners of the Earth Kingdom, the crossing with Jet and the Freedom Fighters, the meeting with Bateau and the meeting with Zhang Zhang. It would also be when the Avatar learns of the existence of Sozin's Comet which is about to pass. During the 100th year, the events of the remaining books would take place, among the most important ones the arrival to the Northern Water Tribe, in which Zhao kills the Moon Spirit. Yu gives his life to become the new Moon Spirit. Iroh and Zuko become enemies of the Fire Nation, Omasha falls and Toph joins the team. Appa would be robbed, Princess Azula would try to take Ba Zingse with a giant drill, Jet would die and they would find the bison at the exit of this place. Meanwhile Long Feng would be overthrown, Azula, Mai and Tai Li would infiltrate as Kyoshi warriors, taking over the capital of the kingdom and the Dai Li Yitof would develop the sub-art of metal bending, and Aang would meet an elder, Guru Puthik who would teach him to control the avatar state through the opening of his chakras. Aang is killed by Azula's lightning, but is brought back to life by Katara's use of the water from the spirit oasis. Later Aang would awaken from his coma, Zuko would resume his princely status in the Fire Nation and Sokka would find a master. The team would meet Hama who would teach bloodbending to Katara. In the eighth month of that year, the team would attack the Fire Nation's capital during an eclipse which would eliminate the firebender's powers for a period of time, but the attack failed, leaving many soldiers as prisoners. That same day Bumi would free Omashu on his own. Zuko would also betray his father to join the Avatar's mission and General Iroh would escape from prison. 
Days later, Combustion Man would die. The Prince of the Fire Nation would join the team, traveling with Aang to the Sun Warrior Civilization, discovering that dragons are not extinct and learning the dragon dancing technique. Yes, the one invented by one 10,000 years earlier. At this time Aang would meet the last lion turtle, who passed on to him the knowledge of energy bending. Using the power of Sozin's Comet, Ozai launches an attack against the Earth Kingdom in an attempt to do the same thing they did to the Air Nomads. The Order of the White Lotus releases Ba Zing Se Zuko defeats his sister, taking the throne and locking her in a mental sanatorium. Aang defeats Ozai by taking away his ability to use firebending. The latter is imprisoned. Here ends the first animated series and the events of the comics continue. At the end of that year, the Harmonic Restoration Movement was launched, an alliance created between Zuko, the Avatar, and the Earth King to return the people of the Fire Nation colonies in the Earth Kingdom to their place of origin. The following year Toph would found his academy, Zuko would suffer several assassination attempts which would make the Kyoshi warriors become the Fire Lord's personal bodyguard. A crisis in Yudao, the oldest colony of the Fire Nation in the Earth Kingdom, causes Zuko to decide to withdraw from the Harmonic Restoration Movement. This causes King K to send troops threatening to start a new war, all this to see who had sovereignty over the city. This year Aang decides to break the spiritual ties with Roku who advised him to be firm and not make his mistake, having to kill Zuko if necessary to keep the peace. There is a confrontation between the two nations, but an agreement is reached to found a fifth nation from that colony, which in the future would be the basis for Republic City. Aang forms the group of the Air Acolytes with the aim of continuing the traditions of the Air Nomads. Zuko would visit his sister to find his mother Ursa. The following year, the search begins, traveling together with Azula to find her mother. Once they learn that Ursa changed her face, Azula tries to assassinate her, but Zuko interferes, saving her but letting the princess flee. The team travels to Cranefish Town to celebrate Yangchen Day in commemoration of their confrontation with the old Iron General years ago, but the city set up a gigantic factory and mining center on the site. This place would later become the geographic headquarters of Republic City and would also be the birthplace of the Cabbage Man's ideas to create the Cabbage Corporation. Between this point and the year 119, a series of events would take place that would strongly shape the future world. Azula would form a group, helping her friends to escape from the mental sanatorium who would call themselves Fire Warriors. They would be in charge of trying to overthrow the Zuko government so that Azula could take the throne. After several failed attempts, the princess decides that she will somehow pull the strings to turn Zuko into the Fire Lord he should be. Azula would be abandoned by her group due to her poor treatment of her companions and her lack of concern for their welfare. The Cabbage Merchant would begin the founding of the Cabbage Corp. In a second visit to Cranefish Town, the first anti-bending revolution would take place, which would make Suki, Tai Li, and the Kyoshi warriors create and train a group of people who would be in charge of the security of the place, teaching them the art of chi blocking. This would eventually corrupt into the creation of the equalist current of thought years later. In addition, the team would remain in the colony for some time, later merging with Yu Dao and founding Republic City. The Fire Nation would donate a large statue of Avatar Aang as a symbol of peace and goodwill. The Southern Water Tribe would grow significantly thanks to the help of the Northern Tribe. The Water Masters would specialize in architecture, making the capital grow extensively. Aang and Katara would marry and have three children, Kia, Bumi, and Tenzin. Between the years 115 and 133 would be born Zolt Lightning, Lin Beifong, Hiroshi Sato, Suing Beifong and also, Yak Won would be prosecuted for his crimes in Republic City, revealing his use of bloodbending, but to escape, Aang would take away his powers. Also no attack would be born, Tarlock and Uncle Iroh would die ascending to the spiritual world. In 138 Hiroshi Sato would found Future Industries, which would bring a gigantic technological breakthrough along with Kabaga Corporation. In 141 Lin Beifan would stop her sister Suin who was stealing, but Toph would let her go free, creating a huge distance between the two sisters. 
In 145, Noatak flees the Water Tribe after defending his brother from Yakwan. And in 151 Itanrak, who would be Korra's father, would defend the Northern Water Tribe from a barbarian attack, destroying a spirit forest which would awaken the fury of the spirits. He is banished from his tribe and begins a new life in the Southern Water Tribe. Between 152 and 169 Mako, Asami, the growth of the Equalist would begin in Republic City and Aang would die, reincarnated in Korra of the South Water Tribe. A year later, Bolan, Desna and Eska were born, as well as Opal. By 157 the White Lotus visits the South Pole confirming the identity of the new Avatar. A year later Sahir and his team attempt to kidnap Korra, but are captured and put in prison. In 160 Mako and Bolan's parents are killed. That same year Jean Aura, Aang's first granddaughter, was born. In 170 Korra leaves the South Pole for Republic City to begin her airbending training. It is revealed that Amon, leader of the Equalist, a group of non-benders fighting against the benders, can take powers away from others. The Avatar meets the team and joins the Fire Ferrets, a pro-bending team. In the arena of this sport Amon would launch an attack and warning, starting a war between benders and non-benders. At the end of that year they defeat Amon. His brother Tarlok who was also a bloodbender ended up assassinating him by immolating himself. It will be just like the good old days. Korra learns energy bending, with which he can return the powers to those who were taken away. The following year, the Council of the United Republic of Nations, in which a representative of each kingdom participated to make decisions, is dissolved and replaced with a single president. Visitors arrive from the Northern Water Tribe to the Southern Water Tribe for the Glacial Festival of Spirits. Hunalak, the chief of the Northern Water Tribe and brother of Tanrak insists that there is a spiritual imbalance, so he asks the Avatar to help open the portals. The same ones that won the first Avatar had closed 10,000 years ago. A civil war begins between the two sister tribes and in the meantime Beric an entrepreneur and inventor organizes attacks to get the Republic City involved. On her journey the Avatar is attacked by a dark spirit that leaves her without memory and during her healing she learns the story of the first Avatar and how a new harmonic convergence is approaching. Korra reopens the second spirit portal in the Northern Water Tribe. The harmonic convergence begins, and Rava must fight Vatu, but this time Hunalak merges with the dark spirit to win the battle, extracting the Avatar's light spirit and killing him, thus breaking the Avatar's cycle of reincarnation, leaving Korra as a conventional waterbender and eliminating all past lives. This fact is as important as the Avatar's creation itself because from here a new cycle would begin. Korra meditates in the Tree of Time, taking strength to extract Rava from Anabadu, thus managing to win the fight and merging with the Spirit of Light again. From here is where the new cycle begins. At the end of the fight and before the harmonic convergence ends, she decides to leave the portals open for humans and spirits to live together, ceasing to be the bridge between the two worlds. The events of this fight makes the airbenders return scattered around the world, awakening the abilities of some people. The civil war of the water tribes ends and Korra declares the southern water tribe independent from the northern water tribe. At this point in the story Hundam returns, the ancient king who remained in the spirit world after the serious harm to his Siamese brother. Hundam allies himself with some equalist, dark spirits, and mafia gangs of Republic City. His plan is to kill the Avatar by extracting his chi to achieve immortality. Finally the Avatar defeats him in a fight in the spirit world. The opening of the portals creates conflicts with the citizens and an endless number of spiritual vines spread through Republic City. President Reiko expels the Avatar from the city, joining now in the search of the new airbenders that appeared in the world. Sahir, now an airbender, escapes and searches for his companions after being locked up after the failed attempt to kidnap the Avatar. They are members of the Red Lotus, an anarchist organization whose goal is to eliminate the world leaders as well as the Avatar and achieve coexistence between humans and spirits in a balanced way. 
By the way Hunilak was also part of this order, although he ended up defecting to follow his own plans. The anarchists kidnap Korra to supply her with a poison that will induce her avatar state so they can kill her and cut the cycle. Although this does not work 100%, and the team is able to stop Sahir, the effects of the poison on Korra's body and the experience leaves her with multiple traumas, loss of connection to Raba and paralysis in her legs. During the next three years Korra goes through a healing process. With the help of Katara she manages to walk again and then travels alone to try to reconnect with the spirit of light. In the meantime we meet Kuvira, a provisional leader in the Earth Kingdom since shortly before Sahir and his team assassinated the previous queen. The great unifier as she called herself began to gather all the small states of the kingdom under her command, accumulating enormous power and extorting the people, that if they did not give her access and total control of their provinces she would leave them at the mercy of mafia gangs, looters and food shortages. During the coronation of the next king, Wu, Karivra announced that the Earth Kingdom no longer existed and would now be called the Earth Empire, taking power over the most important cities including Zeofu. Using Varric's ingenuity and spiritual vines as raw material, he creates a weapon of mass destruction with which he threatens anyone who opposes it. Finally he marches with his army and a mecha coupled with this cannon towards the Republic City, to finalize his conquest. Her attack fails, being imprisoned but in the process opening a new spiritual portal in Republic City. Wu decides to abolish the monarchy leaving all the states of the Earth Kingdom independent. This is what we know so far about the Avatar universe but there is much more to discover, both forwards and backwards. While there are two more series of Legend of Korra comics, just as I didn't mention all the Avatar The Last Airbender comics, the events are not of a gigantic magnitude and our new reference point will be to wait for the new Avatar series which hopefully we will see next year. What did you think of the video? If you liked it or you found out something you didn't know, leave me your answer in the comments to motivate me to send me to make these long videos with a lot of lore. I send you a big hug, stay well and I'll see you tomorrow with more videos. Bye!